Hello and welcome back to Train Sim World Great Western Express. Last time out we were in the dark and we were trying to work out how to switch on a cab light in a class 43 HST as we drove it from a depot in the old Oak Common to Paddington. Today we're going to actually do something a little bit different. We're going to do a service along the whole line in the first Great Western and we're going to just uh, see what, what everything looks like. So I'm actually going for... Hmm, what should we what should we go for? I'm thinking I really like the idea of winter, but I want to go for maybe autumn drizzle. I mean we're in autumn right now. It's uh let's bring the drizzle down quite a significant amount. Not as wet, maybe it's just started drizzling. No snow. Uh fairly cloudy, I suppose. We'll actually reduce the clouds somewhat so we can see sunrise and a little bit a little bit breezy so let's do that and we're going to run well let's see the day, day is autumn so by about eight o'clock we should be we should be good for for daytime so let's go to the eight o'clock service we're going to do the 805 service and we're going to take that to Paddington. Uh, before I continue, I'd like to thank Games Planet for actually giving me this title. A link to that is in the description box below to the title, where you'll be able to support me if you purchase it from there. And you can get, I think they've got a permanent 20% discount on these things. So uh, do check that out. And uh, thank you for the few comments that I have received uh, about things working and not working, as well as how to get this light working. It's just simply the L key. Of course, we don't need it now, but. Uh, you know that was actually quite helpful I'm going to open up the left doors and make sure that that's actually open so uh, I get rid of this now there we go let's go outside and we'll, we'll be able to see there you go the doors are open fantastic and we're going to see what it's like uh, it's a little bit laggy right now but it should just should clear up in a few seconds I think it's just being a bit of a pain uh, if I just go to uh, not nine eight I can uh, take a view around this place. So here we go. There's the train. Oh, uh, no, I want to go on the ground level. Is that possible? Yes, it is. There we go. Oh, no, it's a little bit problematic. It wants to snap me up the top of this. That train's off, except... Uh, hello? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, you're going the wrong, excuse me. Uh -huh. Hello, your, your lights are, you're going backwards. You're going, well, that's a vent or a door. Well, fine. Look at that sunrise, though. The one thing on this that I cannot, I cannot stress enough is it looks absolutely beautiful. Right, let's get this actually ready to go. So we're on daytime running lights over there. Uh, we'll make sure that the parking brake is off that's fine we're going to get the gauge lights up somewhat there we go we'll actually uh, take a screenshot about there that's a nice that's a nice way to to have it so we're going to take the screenshot about there we're going to bring that back uh, we're going to switch on the AWS which I switch on over here I believe like so so that is now on so when I turn this master key and put this forward, there we go. We have that running. I'm going to actually release these brakes mostly. Uh, I don't know. Someone said that the ATP does work. I have not found a way to get the ATP working. There's a control system here. ATP data entry. That doesn't seem to do anything. We've got brake tests over here. Uh, we've got the horn here. The ATP buttons should be here I believe to switch them on or even these actually these work no I genuinely don't think the ATP works so we don't have the automatic train protection which means we don't have the speed limits here I'm disappointed about that I am very disappointed about that we've got the DRA obviously we're going to switch that uh, on right now we're going to shut the doors now there we go We'll make sure everything's good to go. We'll switch on our wipers. There we go. And we're going to get ourselves out of here uh, as soon as we can. So that there. Switch that to off. 
reverse it is forward we we'll give ourselves a bit of a a beep in fact we'll do this from the outside view why not we know what the signal we know what the next signal is so we'll do this from the outside view like this and we'll see us we'll see ourselves out very nice Was the train. Good noises on there as well. It's a little bit quiet still. Just gets green all the way, so that's okay. You can hear the bogey sounds and the sound of the pneumatics and the compression there. That's pretty cool. That's very nice. The one problem I seem to seem to have with this is, uh, as we are going into a faster speed limit, if I go here, I want you to listen to this. It doesn't sound like it's powering up. I've got this in full power. Look, that's in no power. Right, this is with no power take a listen and I'm going to as we pass I'm going to go into full power there just doesn't seem to be that much of a difference in sound I don't know whether there's a bug or what but you know I mean that does look generally looks wise that looks spectacular there is no doubt about it. That looks absolutely spectacular. That's why I'm taking loads of these pictures. Right, but let's get ourselves underway all the way to Paddington. Should take us, uh, what time is it right now? It's going to take us about 20 to 25 minutes. We'll cancel that. I don't know what that was for. I don't see any reason to have that. It does sound a little bit quieter there, but it just generally, there's just no, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to also get rid of, is it controller 5 to get rid of that? That looks good to me, that looks a bit better. Do I need the score? I don't really need the score, how do I get rid of the score? No, I want to get rid of the score. Nope, not that one. Six, there we go. Who needs the score? We don't need the score. This isn't a football match. But yet, yeah, it, it is very quiet. And that to me is a slight issue. Zero point seven miles to the next one. Let's have a look at this from maybe Maybe this overbridge over here, if we can. It does look very, very pretty, and I love that because it's autumn. It looks like autumn here, and the houses look correct over here. You know, every everything looks really quite well done. So I, I like the environment effects it has, but I think there's something wrong with the sounds, and I am disappointed that there is no working ATP and if someone knows how to get the ATP working and there is one uh, please let me know because I can't work it out uh, sounds are back what's happened there it's still very quiet now maybe I mean I know it's an MTU engine and MTU engines are fairly quiet but nevertheless you know it's uh, I don't think it's that quiet <laughs> I really don't think it's that quiet. I do love this though. Look at the bogies over here. In fact, if I go to a... Ooh, hello. Yeah, that was very quiet. That passing was very, very quiet. Uh, if I go to this one, which is three on the camera, I want you to look at these between the two carriages. 
Look at the way the axles work here, the boats and the brake hoses, they move, and that's really, really nicely done. So I love that. There is a bit of a weird motion blur going on here on the brakes, uh, on the actual brake discs, but, uh, you know. Yeah, it's quiet. I can barely hear that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this. But anyway, we're going straight to London Paddington, so we're going to be... It's a direct route, and we get to actually have a look at the whole route, so I'm actually going to... Because we are looking at the route, let's have a look around a bit. The moon up there. I don't ever recall the moon being in that particular orientation, but... Uh, okay. I suppose on rare occasions it is. That's a lot louder. All right, got another station coming up. I think must be a station. No station. Just love this. Just whizzing along the route as fast as I can. We're okay because we have green signal so we're okay here what I want to do is I want to find a station there probably won't be a station for a little bit of time at least I can hear the AWS right there in my ear so that's a good thing what's this over here some fields it's empty empty area another one of those bit of a bridge, looks like a bit of a uh, warehouse area. Obviously this is all going in towards London. We do have a, a green belt, so this is, essentially this is the green belt. There's, believe it or not, in Britain we are very, very particular about our... about our um, nature. We do find it very, very important. What I should do, I should probably bring this back. Yeah, because I am speeding. I'll bring that down to notch three. See, the houses look correct here. They really do look correct. They look nice. You guys are probably wondering, why am I away from the train? I just want to get a really nice shot in a station, that's all. The station's probably pretty far away. Uh, ooh, hold on. Oh, no, 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 that's green. That's fine. 0.7 miles. I'm only about half a mile ahead of the train. Is that station coming up? I mean, we've got buildings here. We've got a split in the track, so this is indicating a station to me. There it is. Which station is this? Taplow? West Drayton? Maidenhead? About to find out. Maidenhead. That's actually really quiet. That's that's way too quiet. That's what I wanted to. That's what I really wanted to hear. That's so quiet. But it does look really really nice here. The cab light does brighten it up a little bit. And I love the way these shadows work with the as you're going past the trees. It actually catches and actually changes the shadow on the actual engine, which I think is brilliant. For this, I am very, very impressed with... I'm very, very impressed with that. Why are the wipers no longer on? Oh, and the sounds of the The wipers are in one position. I do like the fact that... So wait a minute, now outside does it give me a better sound? No, it doesn't. Um, look at the way the, the beads of water go upwards as they've been caught in the airflow. Do that again. There we go. 
Wipers are now on again. We're doing 130. That's okay. We're just trying to make up a little bit of time. We're 21 miles out. I forgot how fast this train can go. It really can go fast, especially with these MTU engines. It's, it's possible for this train to really push the limits quite quickly. I mean, even the Valenta engines were incredibly powerful. And in fact, they were my favorite engines on this locomotive. Simply because they are just so powerful. They, and they screamed. They had these huge turbos, massive turbo whine, and they scream when, they, when they're in action. And it's absolutely brilliant. I used to love the sound of those engines and they were around everywhere so you had three engines on this class 43 you had the Valenta you had the uh, VP 185 and you had the M2 engines now the Valenta engines are still in action you have your lights on I was just checking if he had his lights on they are still in action but they don't use them on the Great Western they all have uh, M2 engines which is a shame but on the uh, East Midland East Midlands main line uh, what's that for Stop breaking because I don't know what that's for. No, I'm cleared now. I wasn't sure what that was for at all. I didn't see a speed limit coming up or anything. There's no speed limit change. Unless I'm missing the speed limit change markers, but uh, we seem to be okay. I suppose as we come into London, I'm going to have to keep an eye out. All this looks very realistic, actually. The buildings look very realistic. Everything's very, very south of it, or just very British, very England and Scotland. And, you know, Wales. It's, it's just the buildings we find here. It looks like, I'll be honest, it actually looks like they've actually done this properly. Because these are the sort of buildings you would find on the outskirts of London. Yeah, I mean, this, yeah, these are definitely buildings you'll find in the outskirts of London. And I bet you if we go into uh, this right now and we zoom out, there you go. We're approaching the outskirts of London. So I think we're going through Slough next. That is Slough, I think. I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't, it doesn't really tell me. Just uh, move the map. Does it tell me? No, it doesn't tell me. But uh, yeah, we're, we're getting along. We're getting along quite nicely here. Crank it up a bit. Bring ourselves back up to 125. Oh, no, we're not. Actually, no, we are. We are, we are, we are. It's okay, I saw this up here go to yellow. But I didn't see it. I didn't hear it on the AWS, so I shouldn't be responding to it. So when I hear it on the AWS, that's where I've got to respond. Which I see it now, so I'm actually going to respond myself. Because I can see it. There it is. And I think I've got myself... It's a double... I'm not going to emergency. Wow. It's very, it's very difficult to hear you going through the notches. So I'm actually going to slow down to about 60 miles an hour. See what the next signal is. The next signal is yellow as well. Is that a double yellow though? That's also, that's just gone green for us. So I'm going to reduce. Okay, so I think I can cruise along at about 90. This is very quiet. So yeah, I think maybe 90 might be a good speed to cruise along at. And it's back. I don't know why the sound does that. Yeah, they are going green ahead of me now. So there must be a slower train either crossing over or something like that as we, as we come into London. Which, as you can see, is now building up around us. I am playing this on almost maximum setting so we'll have to see how that how that pans out. 
uh, with the rain and stuff obviously it's going to be it should have some frame issues but uh, right, I think we're going to stick at about 80, 80 miles an hour is this the Heathrow connect that we're going through right now I think so that's the Heathrow express line no, I think we can still go faster. We're still doing okay. Is that the Heathrow Express line on that side? I think that's the Heathrow Connect. That lot must be from the Brighton line, possibly. I think that is from Heathrow Airport coming in now. So you can see we're fully electrified at this point. So now we've just got to go through places like Southall or Southall, depending on how you want to pronounce it. We've got West Drayton, Ealing, Acton, and then uh, I think it's Acton, Acton Mainline would be the last station before Paddington. The horn doesn't respond as, as quickly as I'd hope. Um, we seem to be okay. Yeah, that's the Thames. Is that the Thames? Possibly. I know by this point it's pretty narrow. It goes through Richmond and that area. And we'll have the River Lee come up alongside us, or the Paddington Canal actually, which is a really nice canal. So let's uh, keep ourselves going. We seem to be completely okay, so I'm going to crank up the power again. We seem to be all running greens. About nine miles out from Paddington. It's still very quiet. Incredibly quiet. And that was at full, that's at full whack as well. I do know that we're going to have to slow down to 50 when we're some two miles out. I think two or three miles out we'll be slowing down to 50. And so we have to be aware of that. And then we slow down to about 40. I think about half a mile out or three quarters of a mile out. We slow down to 40 and then it's 20 it should be 15 into the station if I, if I remember correctly so it'd be 40 dropping to 15 as we approach the station uh, into the platforms it's 15 miles per hour which I don't think they've got in here I think it says straight to 40 when we, when we come in but uh, yeah we'll, we'll have to see we will have to see so now I would go to the outside view, but I do need to keep a keep an eye out for for different sides. Right, it is starting to lag a little bit, as you can see, as that train came past. Obviously, all the reflections and everything, with London being built up around us, it's. I mean, it's still holding 60, or it seems to be holding 60 or around 60, maybe 50 frames a second, until that HST came past. But this is on absolute maximum apart from I can't remember what it was that I turned down I like using the horn with this bit of a drop there Unreal Engine doing kind of well uh, 120 I'm going to ease off the power slightly as I have So I think 120 is fine now. So another green signal ahead of us, red on that side. So another green one that's on the opposite side. Is that yellow for us? I think that's one for us. 70 across, we're not going across. Uh, that's just gone to green again. So I think we're catching up to a train. So what I am going to do is I think it might be wise for me to just let the power down we are down to 120 we're down to when did we go down to 100 we we'll put ourselves into full service to slow us down and we're on a double yellow I didn't see a sign to go down to 100 but I am going to continue slowing us down at in step three because that's an amber ahead of us in fact I'm going to go to step four braking 
me to bring us down to about 50 miles per hour. Like I said, we are 3.3 miles out from Paddington. Cancel that. Uh, actually, we're at green again, so I'm going to drop the drop the brakes, and we're going to coast along at 60 right now. Let's give ourselves two notches of power. Uh, we do have a slowdown, actually. I think that's a speed limit slowdown. Yep, that was a speed limit slowdown. Don't know if that was for me though. It's kind of difficult to read. Ooh, it's a bit more lag. I'm going to slow down to 50 because I'm pretty sure. 50 is the speed limit we're going for. So we're going to just step one braking. Bring ourselves down quite nicely. There we go. And step one of power now. Good. Quite happy with that. It is still actually. Wow, step one of power actually picks up power. That's odd. I wouldn't expect it to step one to do much at 50 miles per hour. But uh, there we go. Uh, that 50 limit is still some way away. There it is, actually, right in front of us. Is that not it? Or is that in the opposite direction? No, that's in the opposite direction. No, there it is, 50. Yes, no, we are right. This is 50. There we go. We're good. Just give it some initial reduction here. Bring us down. So about two miles out, it looks like it goes to 50. We are going to be slowing down to 40. This looks like London. This looks very much like London. So I'm, I'm quite happy about that. So cruising along, it's about 51. We are going uphill, so we will be picking up a little bit of drag, I'm hoping. These are now platform approaches, as you can see. So platform approaches. There's Paddington coming up ahead of us. So I'm going to keep an eye out for any more reductions in speed. There should be a 40 coming up. There's a 40 sign. Give ourselves step one braking. Bring ourselves down to 40 miles per hour, which I believe should be around this corner. Just before those signal. Drop ourselves again, maybe just a bit of an initial reduction. Yep, I'm aware of that. And we are down to 40. There we go. And the next signal is red. So I am going to uh, get myself on step two braking. We can see the signal ahead of us. So we know how hard we have to brake. Step three now. And yeah, we'll slow down in plenty of time if we just hold it in step three. I'm surprised the AWS hasn't gone off yet. I'm assuming it'll be that one that goes off for us. There it is. Cancel that because we are well aware of what the issue is. And we'll try and roll this train. There we go. We are good to go. We're going to knock it into notch one and we'll just ease it up to about 20 miles per hour. We're not going to go any faster than 20 or 25 as we come into the station. Everything looks pretty good. This does look very much like London. It is very laggy from the outside though. But obviously, like I said, it's because of because it's wet. Uh, if it was dry, this would be completely smooth on my computer. Right, there we go. We'll just uh, ease, that, ease that off. So, it looks like if you want to run this in very high settings in the wet, it does become a bit of a, a, bit of a nightmare. And we'll slow it down because there's the platform. And like I said, it's 15 miles per hour into the platform. Does it tell us? It says 25. Interesting. I would have thought it was 15 or 10 into the platform, but uh, okay. So I'm going to actually take it at 15. There we go. We've got these red markings here. Uh, how did I switch that on? It's one of these. 
Ah, control in seven tells us exactly where to stop the train. Very handy, although I don't need it. I'm actually going to get rid of this now. Because I literally don't need it. Power's completely idle. I'm going to start braking. Step two now. And now step three. Step four. Ease it off slowly. Initial reduction. And I think we are good. Let's have a look at how we stop the train. I think we've stopped the train pretty well. All things considered. Could have got a little bit closer, but uh, I think all, all things considered, this train looks like it's been sitting here a while. So it's, uh, ooh, ooh. Okay, and the back of the train should be absolutely fine. Oh, camera's going mental here. There you go. Back of the train is outside. Wait, so is the back of this train by any chance uh, wet? No. Interesting. Interesting. Where is the back of our train? Very interesting. Okay. Although the rain is still falling upon us. Well, I'll just, uh, so it's probably objective completed. Yeah, we're going to unlock the doors. We're going to actually switch that off. Bring that up to full service. Uh, bring that down to that. Now we're going to open up the doors on the left hand side. We should let the passengers off. We're going to switch off the gauge light. We got here on time as well. Switch off these lights. Very, very fancy. We'll put on the DRA. Actually, we don't need to. We're going to the opposite direction. Put on the handbrake. And I think that that's everything, everything ready to go. Let me switch this off as well. There we go. Obviously, the train's going to be going in the other direction after this. It says load passengers. I'm not loading any more passengers. I'm actually ending it here, so, you know. I'm going to switch off the engine. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Train Sim World. Leave a comment in the comments box below. Let me know what you think. Uh, once again, thank you to Games Planet. If you want to purchase this game, link is in the description box below. It's, uh, it is pretty good. It is pretty good. Not perfect, but it is pretty good. And visually, it is absolutely stunning. So, yeah, I, I, do, I do like that. Um, I think that's about it. Do support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. I'd massively, massively appreciate your support. And uh, it would help me out a huge, huge amount. Uh, whatever you guys can give. And uh, yeah, that's about it. If you want to see more of these videos, do let me know. And if you want to see other videos, also let me know. And that's the mission summary. It took us 31 minutes. Drove 35, so 35 miles. That's our fault. Oh, hold on. Oh, I'm not going to be able to see that, am I? Oh no, I am going to see that. I can watch I can watch this one leave. So what we're going to do is to end this. This is the next service going. We're just going to watch this one leave. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time in Trainsim World, the Great Western Express.